And since poker has gotten big, everyone sort of claims to have that that one friend who is vastly successful and you know has made a million dollars playing online poker. But in my, I've never, I've yet to meet one, and in my experience, those people don't actually exist. Someone's friend won just they make millions in a year. I've heard of somebody who made uh, $200,000 a year. This makes about one or two a week. Like there are college kids out there who because of online poker are making millions of dollars a year. Yeah. There's actually a freshman living in Donna right now. I just found out who um, he's made more than a million. And he's still on full financial aid. And whenever his parents come and visit, he has to hide the 72-inch plasma screen and the infinity car that he drives around, and he keeps the car that his parents got him on campus. So, like, these stories are what drive the losing half of poker players. Yeah. The losing half of poker players love these stories, and they love to be these people. And they think they are good at poker. And for them, it's real bad. I'm Alex. I play a lot of online poker. So let me show you where I live. Right now I'm playing four games. There, this is a this game is a thousand dollars maximum buy-in. This game is six hundred dollars maximum buy-in. These two games are four hundred dollars maximum buy-in. Here I have a five ten unsuited with a raise and try and steal the blinds. Forty five seconds. I stole the blinds. I just made fifteen dollars. You saw it. Second time. The more games you can play, it's just the more potential for profit there is. And that's that's sort of that is your ultimate goal. I mean I, I say it's not about the money, but it's poker is a game where everything's measured in the currency. And so, you know, that's what you want to do well. Probably played just maybe seventy hours. Well, probably seventy hours that week. Um, that's an extreme, you know, for some um, I would say that I am currently not addicted to poker. I think the negative impacts of poker are very minimal, and they're mostly just a result of the media. It's it's a little ridiculous in that just there's so many there's so many worse vices. You know, alcohol is so much worse than online poker. I love gambling. I love gambling so much to the point where I'm like actually addicted to gambling. And uh, but like I look at it as like hey, being addicted to gambling that's not that bad. Like, gambling's the only vice that might work out for you. <laughs> you never hear of anyone winning big off heroin. <laughs> oh, awesome, I'm up $900. I went all in in that vein of my foot. <laughs> really? No, I'm way down. I'm, I'm sucking <laughs> at a bus stop. I love, I love gambling. I'm like, it is an addiction. People, I like... I guarantee you people are in an enormous debt because of it. There's actually a bill that just got passed by Congress that um, they're, they're not going to make online gambling illegal, but they're going to make it very difficult to do online gambling. I think it's, um, it's restricting like bank transfers between banks and online gambling sites to basically just make it very difficult to put money into a gambling site account. And that's pretty much going to go into effect in about nine months. A society you guys were talking about as a whole, I think it doesn't really matter. It's a zero-sum game, and it's some people's pleasure and some people's uh, slight misfortune. Um, they just keep buying in and using creditors. Like there's, there's got to be losers because my friends keep winning. It's hard to define what addiction actually is, but pretty much I do it because it keeps me entertained, and when it no longer keeps me entertained, I stop doing it. And so, I have great decisions to make for $140. If I take a card, I'll do it. Um, 
And see, now I, I'm, I'm at a crucial moment in hand where I can bluff off. I could literally bluff off hundreds of dollars, and I'm gonna try it. I'm running a $300 bluff right now, and he called. And that's, oh, that's terrible. Okay, so I just lost $600. Uh, yeah, what were we talking? Oh, addiction to poker. Take us down.